Hey guys, Rich Page, R. Jebethan Timber Frame Company, Maine Timber Frame. I wanted to answer a question that comes up an awful lot for us here. We've got a sawmill, we saw our own timbers to do the timber framing, but I hear the question both from timber framers and from people who want to buy a timber, and I hear it from people we sharpen blades for guys with sawmills, so we hear it from those guys as well. So I want to go over something real quick, and what this is, is how to calculate what size log is required to give you the size timber you need. So without a lot of ado here, looking at a picture I drew up, uh, don't get all jazzed up on the math stuff, I'll go through that with you. What I've got right here is, this is the outside diameter of the log drawn in. So, so what you need is a log, and it's got to kind of be circular. When you think about buying a log, if you, if you don't have a sawmill, I'll, I'll give you a quick tip. If the log's not straight, it gives you a lot of problems. It gives you a lot of problems after you cut it. But more importantly, it gives you a lot of problems from trying to get the appropriate size. So this is what we call the tip diameter. The tip diameter is the small diameter of the log. So this is, we're looking at the end of the log. This is the log that you're looking at. Our desired timber in this case is a six by 10. So we've got six inches down here on the width. We've got 10 inches here on the depth. So you'll notice I've drawn the timber inside the, desi the log uh, in a perfect scenario. What we're really looking for is this diagonal line of the timber to make sure it spans across the tip size of the log. So tip log circumference, that's what this is here. That's how big around the log is. This is the desired timber drawn in here, six by 10. And this is what we're really looking for is this required diameter log. So if you look at this, the D, which is the depth over here, the depth squared, so 10, 10 squared coming way down here is 100, 6 squared, which is 36. Add those two up, 136, square root of 136. In a nutshell, you need a log that's 11.66 inches diameter to give you the required 6 by 10. So that's the math. This formula works on any log, square, or rectangular. But something to think about is making sure when you're doing your timber calculations, you got an idea of what size logs you're gonna need. And at the same time, you might find as a timber framer, you're gonna help your sawyer figure out how big a logs they need because they may not have this information as well. So this is a quick tip for you to figure out and calculate how big a log you need to get you the desired dimensions on the timber required for your job. Hope this helps. Click like and subscribe. Send me some questions and comments. Uh, and I appreciate your feedback. Thanks, guys.